Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? My violence inhibitors are a joke. No, really. I only keep them enabled because of how funny they are. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. I need a word. The something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. Doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck-up. If you say so, I'm keeping a finger on the trigger all the same. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Guards, huh? I like this. Shoot clear through that armor.
I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Oh, before I forget, Anti-Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the raptodons? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carpet, it's just a matter of... 
worse than you did. Just, just put it. Uh, of course, because I didn't. No, it's, 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 get this. 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 It's gotta put it in. That's the, the, the power of twelve. And of course, that's the. It's, What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. No. Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Uh, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs, and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, 
He's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say wrapped it on? Gracious, someone must have hauled them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. Positive. Honest to goodness. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit anytime. 